Logan tells Deadpool inside the car that he has been alive for more than 200 freaking years and guess what? He died at the age of 197 based on the new timeline due to adamantium poisoning. But this variant of Logan is over 200 years with his adamantium claws and yet he doesn't have any sign of poisoning inside the body. How is that even possible? I expected the chemistry between Ladypool and Deadpool but unfortunately it never happened. Now what would happen if Deadpool would begin to date Ladypool? He could actually get to himself. When Ladypool was shooting with the woozy guns, Deadpool used Nicepool as a meat shield to save himself and Nicepool had to die as he doesn't have regenerative factors in his body. Now the question is, did he get Nicepool killed purposefully? If this is true, what was the reason behind that? Did he get Nicepool killed out of jealousy considering the fact that Nicepool didn't have a single scar on his pretty face? Or did he get Nicepool killed to get his golden desert eagle and the dog pool? Logan puts on the famous Wolverine helmet right before fighting with the variants of Deadpool. But after 35 minutes into the movie, you can see clearly that there was no helmet in the back. So did he pull out the helmet right from his ass? Deadpool and Wolverine came back from the dead even after getting disintegrated. So would that be correct to say that Cassandra Nova is also alive and she will come back in the next movie? These guys managed to bring almost half of Hollywood in the form of cameos but they couldn't manage to bring Loki into the void. It would be so fun to watch a fight between Cassandra Nova and Loki she would finally get a worthy opponent. Why is Cassandra Nova so skinny? Is there any way she is a fan of Bella Hadid or she also has got cancer like Deadpool? Laura Howlett managed to get out of the void with the help of the TVA. But what about Blade, Elektra and Gambit? Are they still stuck inside the void or they have been liberated? Inside the void, you can get to see beers, alcohol, toothpaste, face wash, brush and many other stuff. Now the question is exactly how do they get the supply of all of these things? There is not even a single fighting sequence of Teenage Negasonic and Colossus in the movie. What was the reason behind that? The production house didn't have the time or budget for this? Deadpool literally got Johnny killed by souring Cassandra on him with all the bad things Johnny has said about her on the vehicle. Now, was that even necessary to get this poor guy killed this way? In chapter 2, Cable only had one opportunity to go back to future to his family but he uses that opportunity to save Deadpool. So, where is Cable right now? Did he actually manage to go back to the future? Pretty much everyone was present in the party but one guy was missing over there and that guy is Weasel. You can't even find his face on the picture over the cake. So where is Weasel right now? What the hell is going on? You see that van in the back? In the 2017 Logan movie you can get to see the same van being flipped over by the survivor kids to slow down X-23. Now there had been three more vehicles right near the van but they're now missing in this movie. So where the hell are those three more vehicles? You couldn't even save a relationship with a goddamn stripper.